Hi, this is Michelle Moreland. I am on the set for Alone Came the Devil 2. And we were we are working with the Devan Clan production. And I have with me Mark on set. Hi. Hi, you, welcome. Michelle? Thank you. Good to be Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So I'd love to first of all ask what was your feeling or what we what went through your thoughts when you found out we were getting to do the two? Mm-hmm. Ecstatic. I think Joy had reached out to me, Joy's my agent, and Jay Purvis, and she said that Jason had been in touch, and he'd spoken about um, uh, the second installment of the the, the, the movie, and uh, yeah, just ecstatic. I know when we when we shot the first one, it's funny, we, we I, I had a single day's work on um, Tell Me Your Name, it was initially titled, we mm -hmm. changed it to Along Came the Devil, I had the single day's work, and um, after we'd gotten all my coverage, Jason uh, looked over at me, he was watching something happen, and he looked over at Tim, and he was like... And I was like, what does that mean? He said, you're in number two. I was like, okay. And, and I took that as I was very grateful to hear it. And I thought it was um, it, it was it, him expressing that he, he enjoyed the work that I had done in the first one. And um, here we are four years later. And um, yeah, they reached out to me. So just, just ecstatic to be back. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So can you tell us a little bit about um, maybe the challenges that you're having with playing Mark and uh, uh, the character? Um, I think I think in any any good script, you're going to find a, a character arch. And, and you know, uh, being that my, um, my my character had been established in the first uh, movie, I, I, I found that there was a there was a definite sure spot spot to start with the character arch in this one so it, it, it's all been for me about navigating um the um the the correct arch and the and the the, the beats that come along that that do in fact uh, change me that would change you as a character um jason's been amazing as far as that goes and just kind of um plotting as the writer uh, you know and helping um guide me Speaking of Jason, um, what is it like working with uh, Jason Devan as the director? He's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's been on the phone um, since day one, and he's always been been um, very very open. Mm -hmm. um, his phone line is always open. He says to talk, and 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 you know, film is such a collaborative effort uh, between cast and crew and 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 the, the the team that the director puts together, and and you know he's. He's, he's gotten a great crew that he's brought back, invited back for the second time here. And um, no, it's um, it, it's so rewarding to get to work with a director who who has his trust in in you mm -hmm. and, and what you bring. And he's, he's open to adjustments. He's, he's, he's never said that anything is, is written in stone. Obviously, there are uh, specific uh, points that we have to hit, but he, he has given us um, the freedom to explore character and... and um, it be a true collaborative affair. Sometimes you can get, you can get hushed up, and mm -hmm. you know, and it comes across as being forced in, in, in certain ways. He can be almost like a sock puppet, <laughs> and uh, Jason is quite the opposite. It's been it's refreshing to work with him. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, so as we can tell, we have our wonderful birds. Part of our interview already. This is part of the South, part of Georgia. What do you enjoy in uh, filming in Georgia? What do you really like about being here? Well, I love the, uh, you know, the, I'm, I'm 30, 40 minutes away from where I live, which is in, in town. And so I can, I can be in town, getting on the bus, going into town to watch the football, or I can go down to the concerts and, and I can come away 30, 40 minutes down the road and feel like I'm in a completely different state. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much diversity, not only in the environment, but I think in the, uh, in the culture, the, the, the people here, it's a melting pot, something I've been here now since 97 in, in Atlanta. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I think it's one of the last great affordable cities that has that cultural diversity. And um, it's a joy, joy to be here and to, to have actually seen the, um, the incentives really reshape mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. uh, the movie industry here. Is, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be here at this very uh, productive time in its history. Why is it important and what does it mean to you still to support indie films? And indie films in our industry still. Well, I think I mean everybody starts somewhere, and in, indie just means you're doing it by yourself. <laughs> I think you know um, there's 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 a lot of um, things that that make movies impossible to make along the way, and and anytime anybody takes it upon themselves to jump into that, 
and, and, and take the challenges on amongst themselves, then mm -hmm. they're, they're to be supported in any way, in any uh, area of life. I think anybody that's willing to go the course on their own because it's something that they believe in, it's a passion of theirs, it, it, it pays well to, to support them. You know, um, I think I think even even the big movie producers and the the big movies they they start out independently on their own somewhere, you know, be it budgets or just um, knowledge, um, and so I I I I love indie because it, it gives me the opportunity to um, really really collaborate with with directors, um, you know. Um, I've I've done it for years and I continue to do it on short films and mm -hmm. and you get input. When, when, when you're the higher up on your call sheet, you, less of a day player, you have more importance to uh, the trajectory of, of, of the story. And so um, your input is, is, is valued, I think. And, and to have the opportunity to get to do that with a feature is a real blessing for me. These, these, these are the, the, the character calls that I am aspiring to be able to make throughout my career, you know. It just keeps getting bigger and better. And, and, and this movie, again, is just just keeps getting bigger and better and um, yeah we're, we're, we're all finding our way <laughs> without giving too much away um, what do you think you're excited for the fans and the moviegoers to see when it comes to this movie well I think this one in, 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 in a little bit reflection to the first I think this one is a little bit more of a narrative I think there's definitely more um, by way of things that people can relate to as far as the family I know that the first one was um, in based in in truth mm -hmm. and so it was it was definitely um, to to the outsider looking at that there were elements of um, um, just just horror that, that scare people and definitely specifically that family that, that that were affected by that but this one I'm, I'm 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 hoping that that my character can bring a little bit more um uh compassion and uh, understanding to um the, the the demons that that are the the supernatural as well as the the the, the demons that we as humans as as people um face every single day everybody has something mm -hmm that they're fighting, that they're, they're struggling with. And so I'm, I'm hoping that there's, there's an element of relatability here right. that, will, that will show on screen. I think I personally am really looking forward to the, um, the special effects and how they do things. You know, there's, there's so many things that we get to do um, that are just dancing when, when you're on set. And, you know, you may, you may have special makeup on that, that really kind of um, are practical effects. But when it all comes together, uh, when Jason and the editors, they work their magic in the editing room mm -hmm. and they, they mm -hmm. colour correct and they put the sound to it, it's going to really heighten and, and, and it will definitely take it to a, uh, a scare, scare fest. Yay. Yes. And yeah. so that's what I'm looking forward to. The, the post, seeing the actual finished version of the film. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much for taking time out thank today you. to spend a few minutes with Absolutely. me. Thank Absolutely. Thank you, Michelle. Good luck on it. Thank you.